At the 2025 Paris Air Show, European missile manufacturer MBDA revealed the latest phase in the development of its ground-based land cruise missile, LCM, an advanced mobile strike system designed to operate from land platforms with the capability to hit targets over 1,000 kilometers away. Based on the French Navy's MDCN missile, which has seen operational use on Frem frigates and Suffren-class submarines, this new land-based version reimagines naval precision strike technology for mobile, terrestrial deployment. The LCM, also referred to by its French acronym MDCT, carries over key components from its naval predecessor, including its guidance architecture and propulsion strategy. However, instead of being launched from a ship or submarine, the missile is adapted to a truck-based launch system with a transport director design. The launch sequence starts with a solid rocket booster that propels the missile until its microturbo TR-50 turbojet engine takes over for cruise flight. The system uses a hybrid navigation setup, combining inertial, GPS, terrain matching, and infrared homing in the final stage. Importantly, MBDA is incorporating alternative satellite navigation technologies to reduce reliance on US-controlled GPS, ensuring full compatibility with Europe's Galileo system. This new missile is a cornerstone of France's FLPT, Frappe Long Porti Terrestre, initiative and could become part of a larger European framework called ELSA, European Long Strike Approach, which involves cooperation between multiple NATO countries including France, Germany, Italy, Sweden, Poland, and the UK. MBDA is financing much of the early development, while a French government contract from late 2024 supports research efforts. A first test launch is targeted for 2027 or 2028 at the Biscaros missile test site. The LCM's road mobile design uses an approximately 18-meter long tractor-trailer setup. The current launcher can carry four missiles, although practical deployment is limited to two due to the missile's significant weight, roughly two tons per unit. In contrast to the naval MDCN, the land version is free from maritime constraints like vertical launch compatibility or integration with nuclear-powered vessels, giving MBDA more room to optimize for land warfare scenarios. These differences may lead to improved operational range and deployment flexibility. France's MDCN missile, which the LCM is based on, was introduced into service in 2015 and 2020 for surface ships and submarines respectively. It features a 250-kilogram warhead and a top speed close to 980 kilometers per hour. The weapon gained combat credentials in 2018 during a French strike in Syria. Most recently, in 2024, France executed a dual launch from both sea and submarine platforms in a precision attack demonstration. The land-based LCM is designed to mirror MDCN's mission capabilities, penetrating heavily defended airspace, delivering high-precision strikes, and enabling synchronized attacks. While the U.S. Army's mid-range capability system uses vertical MK-41 launchers, MBDA's approach favors simpler inclined launch systems on wheeled vehicles. A vertical option remains possible if NATO standardization becomes necessary. The focus remains on maximizing simplicity and speed of deployment, using off-the-shelf civilian transport platforms. In parallel with the LCM, MBDA is pursuing several complementary strike programs under FLPT. One is the Thundered Guided Rocket, developed jointly with Safran to replace the French Army's aging LRU system. With a range starting at 150 km and a planned extension to 500, Thundered is optimized for engaging stationary or semi-mobile targets. It uses 227mm modular rockets and draws on technologies proven in the AASM guided bomb system used on Rafale jets. Propulsion is led by Roxel, a joint MBDA Safran venture, while Safran is also advancing the guidance systems. While the initial design emphasizes simplicity and cost efficiency, future versions could see upgrades like advanced seekers for greater accuracy. MBDA's broader land strike ecosystem also includes projects like the Joint Fire Support Missile, JFSM, built on drone tech from the Future Combat Air System, FCAS, and compatible with both HIMARS and M270 launchers. Meanwhile, MBDA UK is developing the Land Precision Strike Missile, LPS, for the British Army, designed to neutralize high-value or mobile targets over 150 kilometers away. 
While MBDA originally considered reusing the Spear missile, it chose a new build to avoid issues related to booster debris during land launches. LPS integrates an autonomous seeker with infrared or radar targeting options. Longer range ambitions are taking shape under the FC ASW trinational program involving France, Italy, and the UK. The project is split between two future missile concepts, the stealthy, subsonic TP-15 powered by a turboprop for deep penetration missions, and the RJ-10, a supersonic ramjet-equipped missile aimed at suppressing enemy defenses and targeting airborne threats. RJ-10's AESA radar seeker is being developed by MBDA Italy, building on their Tessio MK-2-E missile expertise. Though still in the early stages, over 750 engineers are now working across partner nations to bring these future strike weapons to life. Through these initiatives, MBDA is solidifying its place as Europe's missile powerhouse. The LCM stands out as the only fully European ground-launched cruise missile platform capable of executing strategic land strikes from mobile, surface, or submerged launch points. MBDA stresses that possession of such systems marks a nation as having genuine sovereign deep strike capability, strategic asset increasingly relevant amid rising tensions in Europe, including the continued war in Ukraine. As the US moves to position long-range systems like Tomahawk and SM-6 in Europe by 2026, and countries like Poland explore their own long-range needs, MBDA's LCM offers NATO allies a homegrown alternative. In the broader context of European defense, MBDA sees its land strike programs, especially the LCM, as a path toward strategic autonomy and closer military-industrial coordination among key allies. With growing emphasis on mobility, survivability, and interoperability, Europe is laying the groundwork for a more independent and resilient precision strike capability.